So you got to understand the difference between those five. It's a, it's a difference. You got to marinate. You got to let that meditate on it. You got to marinate. Let that marinate be so you can fully understand how advanced you truly are. How this avatar, this body can do such that they are that they have never put in a book. That they would never put in a book. Why? So you can free your planet? The the yeah. av- the body itself literally has no limit. You can push it to wherever you want to take it to. That's what that's the that's the secret people don't know. That's why they kill us and they when they kill when they will not kill you because you'll never die. But when they kill your avatar, they like to chop it up and dissect it and drain you with the blood and keep it and they eat it. And then even um when the babies is born, they keep they keep that. They keep all that. Oh, they keep all of that. They come up out of y'all. They keep all of that. The placenta, they keep all of that. Why? They they it's nutrients. They also use it to make their weapons. It's a powerful deal. Wow. See? So, yeah. um, understand that with your about your higher self and your lower self, and, and your soul decide which one which, which one get in, and your soul make its decisions based upon the vibration of your chakras. Like, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got shot. Listen, you got five different bodies. You got seven layers of oil field to you. That's you, got chakras, you got shock you got shock you got over 140 more shock that you get they only telling you about seven i'm gonna tell y'all about all 144 but when the time is right because niggas still ain't like, niggas still ain't like learned the first set all the way yet you know what i'm saying it ain't nothing yeah. to rush with information you take your time and grasp it that's why i don't respect guys and guys still get ahead like trying to learn everything at once they don't work like that take your time Grasp the little bit that you learn and, and, and keep feeding, and it's gonna keep being revealed to you. Because seeking, you should find, asking, you should receive. The Bible got that from us. That ain't come from them. You know, they, they are soulless beings, so they can't create. Only souls can create. Which is why, you know, they have to steal everything and they stole everything. Draconian reptilians did know that because they can't create. And some of them got souls. But they fell in frequency. Remember, a lot of these draconian reptilians are nothing but fallen gods anyway posing as draconian reptilians. So, that's who the war is with. It's still the same people at the end of the day. So, when you're talking about your higher self and your lower self, it's just an extension of your spirit. But it's like your higher self is like the best version of your spirit. And your lower self is the worst version of your spirit. And that's why it matters what spirit people be in. They're like, oh, what kind of spirit you in? Good spirits, bad spirits. And another word for good for good spirit or bad spirit is mood. What's your mood? Same shit. But before but what's what but before you remove mood, if they say what spirit you in, they mean that literally. What spirit is you in? What spirit is your soul in? Is your soul fucking with your lower self or your higher self? What spirit are you in? If your soul, if you in bad spirits, if you feeling bad, or you any of that, then you know your lower self. You know what I'm saying? You, you know that's your lower self I'm trying to fuck with you. That's your lower self, yeah. and it does that. It does that. That's natural. But even when you let your higher self in, your lower self is still trying to get in too. It'd be like two people. Yeah, your lower self will never stop trying to get in because your lower self is, is, is strong like your higher self. It's its own separate entity. It got its own mind. You know, why you think people got consciousness? Why you think people live with regrets and shit? Everybody got something they regret. That's your lower self trying to get in. <laughs> your higher self don't give a fuck about nothing. Your higher self know that you perfect. Your higher self only speak good of you. That be your lower self that be bringing up the past and bringing up shit that went wrong. And that's your lower self. Keep trying to get back in. He never stops. He never gives up. That's why you got to keep the armor on. But they don't ever tell you what the armor is, but they let you know you got to keep it on, though. Right. <laughs> that's the Bible for you. Nigga, they don't even direct you to the armor, like I said. <laughs> you know, they don't even direct the nigga to the armor. <laughs> you, you know description of the armor, but they're like, you keep on the whole armor of God. Well, yeah, that's that armor you got to control. Your lower self is its own separate entity. It's a beast. It's the beast of you. 
what I'm saying? Like, like even what even what we see these draconian Italians doing, they're only carrying out the orders of who? Zeus. Yes. And what does Zeus do? Look what he's doing. This is the beast of us. Zeus is showing you the beast of you. Because he, he stepped outside of his higher self and purposely went into his lower self. See what I'm saying? Yeah. He's just showing you the beast of you. Your lower self ain't nothing to be played with. It's a beast. It's strong. It ain't nothing to take light. You can't play with it. You can't be like, oh, ain't nothing. I got it. No, it don't work like that. That ain't, you, you play like that, you'll be stuck with your lower self. He'll stay inside. <laughs> Always be like for real, a lot of people stay in their lower self. They never ever get out of it ever because they don't they don't respect the strength of it. They don't do shadow work to try to tame it. It's a beast. Why you think I say crush that beast? You gotta crush that beast. You gotta go in there and crush that beast, self. You gotta go in crush that beast. I agree. I had to go in there and crush that beast. That, that's a heavy battle. He hit hard. You hear yourself. That beast in you hit hard. You know, it like, it know all your weaknesses, all your strengths. It's you. But it's a, it's that part of you. It's that, and then you got to go in the room with you. And you see you like that. And accept that that's you. You know what I'm saying? You got to accept the worst of you. That, that, that lower self of beast. But when you but when you when you accept it though, you know, you you conquer the dragon, you know, and then when you conquer the dragon now, now what limits you? Nothing. What can be said about you? What can be placed before you? You went and then conquered the worst of you. Nothing is worse than living with you gotta live with yourself at the end of the day. Ain't it scary? Exactly. Going and seeing that. Listen, most people don't want to be with they self. That's real. Why do you think people really go club and party and try to stay around their friends? We think we out kicking it for that, but it's really because we don't want to be with ourselves. We don't want to be alone. You know how many gods and fucked up relationships right now with guys just because they don't want to be alone? I know I was in one before. Yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't been there before. Years ago. How many guys just been been through terrible marriages, failed relationships, stuck around, put up with all type of shit, just they were scared to be alone. You know, they they, they were scared to sit with they self. It's natural because self is a beast. When this is you and yourself, you ain't got nobody else to blame. See, see, yeah. That's what people really fear: responsibility, taking accountability. When you just with self, who can you blame? Who can you run to? See what I'm saying? When you sit with yourself, you are forced to face your your, your, your wrongs and your rights. You're like, damn, I, I fucked up. I did. You can't listen. Ain't nobody else around yes. trying. I promise. You're going to be so real. Because <laughs> ain't nobody there with you. You're going to be really <laughs> fucked with yourself. You can't help it. Even if you're trying to lie to yourself, you alone with nobody around you, you can lie to yourself with people around you because they'll distract you. Yeah. Because your soul and spirit is talking to you all day and your higher self all day. And the ancestors, and every so much shit talking to you all day. So if you sit with yourself and you remove the distractions, that's why when people like if people isolate themselves and you cut the TV off and you cut shit off and just sit with yourself for like an hour, boy, you'll learn so much shit because all you can hear all these different entities talking to you that exist that are there to help you. Really, your higher self there to get you back, let let him all the way in. Your soul there to remind you what you're here to do. A spirit that will remind you that you are everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta listen. You gotta listen. You know what I'm saying? You gotta close your. You gotta listen with your soul, though. You can't listen with your ears. That's what I tell people that listen to my music. I say, look, when y'all listen to my music, and I used to do this at my shows. People that have been in my shows to tell you, I've talked to the crowd like I talked to y'all before every song. I used to do that. So like. You gotta listen to my music with your soul. You gotta listen to my messages with your soul. You gotta listen to yourself with your soul. See what I'm saying? You gotta listen with your soul, not your ears. Once again, those are five fake senses. Remember, that five is powerful because it connects you to everything. But your oppressors created five things to keep you locked into this matrix, and they're called senses. 
smell it, hear it, taste, all that's synthetic, created by your oppressor. Computer simulators placed in this matrix to make you believe everything more that you see. You see it, that's a sense, you're like, it's real. You hear it, I heard it, I know it's real. My motherfuckers lie all the time. You hear me? Yeah. You, you felt it, but shit, how many times you felt something that you was wrong about what you felt about? See what I'm saying? Yeah. These are your senses, though. This is what they teach you to trust, your five senses. They don't tell you to teach you. They don't tell you to trust yourself, though. They programmed you to trust our five your senses. That ain't real. They create fake illusions of everything around you. Like I say, seeing is one of your senses, but you can't believe nothing you see. You're not, the eye is the easiest thing to fool. Yeah, that's true. Taste. You can't go off that. You know how you know taste ain't real? Because whenever you eat something, because whenever you eat something too hot, you burn your taste buds. You know why you burn your taste buds? Because what are we? Heat. What is natural to the planet? Heat. What is inorganic to the planet? Cold. So when you, the hotter the food, like I talked about radiation, right? We are full of gamma radiation, photon energy, organ energy, right? This is why we require our food to be warm, because we're not supposed to eat meat. So it has to be cooked for us, because we are organic beings, nine ether beings, luminous beings full of electricity, which is heat. The soul is pure heat. You are full of chromosomes, suns. So when you got to eat this bullshit meat, they got to warm it up. It's the only way your body can accept it. You can't eat it cold. Now, when something get too hot, what does it do? It burn your fucking taste buds off. It numbs you. You can't even taste shit no more. Because the heat is that to let you remind you that that's a false sense of taste. None of that is real. Because the taste of shit is what keeps you wanting to eat the bullshit food that they feed you. You don't even eat to survive. You eat the taste. Because you've been programmed that way. So the hotter some get, you're raising the density of it and you're increasing the frequency of it too. The whole cosmos is warm. So when that shit get real hot and you bite into it, that's radiation. The radiation is real. It's stripping that synthetic shit off your tongue. You don't say shit. Wow. And now how does your food taste afterwards? You don't even want to eat it no more. When your tongue, when you burn your tongue, you don't even want to eat shit, do you? No, yeah, that heat, <laughs> that heat gets your ass where you're supposed to be because you ain't gonna be eating this shit no way. So if you don't want to eat the taste of no more, now you're back to the-